Dr. Trowbridge has joined us on a couple of other uh, segments here talking about what is this Ebola. Uh, what, he, he analogized it to a tsunami. Is that great? Sometimes tsunamis happen, but not all the time. This might happen, it may not. Then the second segment, we talked about the animals running uphill. Uh, what can we do right now to prevent us becoming more vulnerable to that? He addressed that. Now I want to ask what a physician, many of you watching the show right now, like me, are not physicians. But what if you got 45 years in the bullpen as a physician, have seen lots of bugs come in your office and have published on bugs? What is he doing for that beautiful family of his? Dr. Trowbridge, thank you. And where, what say you? Doug, it's really quite simple. Prevention is the key. The second key is prevention. And the third thing you have to pay attention to is prevention. So be smart. Avoid areas where obviously sick people are. And once you've gotten into those areas, you better already have prepped yourself. We're talking vitamin C, talking beta-glucan. We're talking, oh, did I mention healthy food? Because, you know, about 25% of the American food dollar is spent on fast foods. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. They call that quick-serve restaurants, <laughs> which is a problem. And anymore, you really have to watch the food supply very carefully because – a lot of this can be imported. It can bring in all sorts of pesticides and hormonal treatments and whatever. The more you pay attention to your diet, the more better you're going to do. Did I mention drinking enough water, getting enough sleep? These things all, oh, that's just health habits. Well, mm -hmm. we've so ignored health habits. That's one reason why yeast syndrome is such an issue with, with about a third of the people in this country because of antibiotics, birth control pills, cortisone, deplorable diet, horrible health habits, environmental toxins, and so on, the exact same risk factors that would challenge your body for something like Ebola. Remember, about 80 to 90 percent of your immune defense system surrounds your gut. That's where challenges come. You can get Ebola in by airway contact, gut contact, anything else that gets to a wet surface. You're Trust the first me. guy, Dr. Trowbridge, I've heard say you can actually inhale this. Uh, oh, what they're talking about well, is no, passing no. of blood or stool or vomit or something. You're, you're not, actually. You're the second smart guy who's told me uh, that you're concerned about someone in an elevator, on an airplane, et cetera, Absolutely. an enclosed environment. Absolutely. Well, all you have to do, you know, they say cover your cough. Well, go ahead. Cover your cough. Put your hand down on the seat, okay, the, the, the side of the seat. Someone else comes along, it's still a little wet. They actually touch the seat while they're sitting down. They wipe their face. Yep. Bingo. Yeah. That's called fomite transfer. It is important. It happens with viruses. It's going to be documented with Ebola. Mark my words. I met a fellow the other night. <clears throat> my son was in town playing a gig, and it was late at night, and I, loud music, and Ruth and I are so out of that genre. But um, a young man came up with a beer in his hand, and he said, Wow, you're Ethan's dad. You know, nice seeing you. And I went to shake his hand, and instead he wanted to bump. He said, No, I, I don't shake hands anymore. It's really interesting the way things are changing. Yes, it is. Wow. It, this is a different brave new world. This is a new era for us. And if we start changing health habits now, we'll be ready for it. Are you, are you as a physician who sees patients, a lot of them, on a daily basis, are you frightened? I wouldn't say I'm frightened, but I'm cautiously concerned. And that raises my attention level. So I'm looking for potential risk factors. Good. And that's what everybody should be, is looking. It, it's just like guns and cars, okay? You're not going to get in a traffic accident if you really plan defensive driving. Yeah. You're not going to get shot by a gun if you don't have ridiculous things in your neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and finally, you talked about vitamin C and beta-glucan. You're talking about prophylactics. Are you taking these every day? <laughs> of course, for years. Oh, those are just two of the about 40 things I'm taking every day. <laughs> You know, I, of course, am ridiculous because I only want to live a long, healthy life. Yeah. Uh, for other people, you know, you don't want to waste your money peeing out expensive vitamins, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yes. what are they doing while they're in there? <laughs> exactly. Dr. John Trowbridge, a good friend of Know the Cause, good friend of Doug Kaufman for many, many years. God bless you, man. Great to see you again. Thank you for those pearls.